All right, so the reverse lunge. So you're gonna be in a single leg stance position. The, in this case, we're training the left leg. You're gonna drop back a certain amount of distance such that you can put the majority of the weight through the front leg. We talked about the importance of having the majority of the weight in the heel and that the knee is stacked over the ankle. The back leg is not touching the ground and then your transition and the ascent is smooth, gradual, and in more in a vertical direction than a forward and backwards direction. Sustain that single leg stance at the top, volitionally contracting quad and glute before repeating into the next repetition. Uh, of course, you can use your, your hands as necessary, uh, just for balance, if nothing else. If you need the support uh, from a weight standpoint, that's fine as well. Drop into it good 80 to 90 percent of the weight on the front limb push through heel and come straight up without momentum that's it all right reverse lunge from the back side right we can see that hips are relatively squared off keeping good alignment between the hip the knee and the ankle of the front limb again using hands as an assist Okay, looking at the opposite limb, right? Good slow descent, pressure through heel, not in, ensuring that the knee's not going over the toe on the front leg. The back knee doesn't touch. Good adjustment. Good pause, own the bottom position, stall it out, pelvis level, great. And then you're gonna slowly ascend back up. Yeah, excellent.